this second segment on computing basics, we will identify types of computers and understand how they process information. There are several different kinds of computers. Personal computers include desktops, laptops, netbooks, and ultrabooks. Computers are more and more portable now, especially with smartphones and tablets. Many appliances, cars, game systems, and other things have computers. Computers process information using a special piece of hardware called the Central Processing Unit, or CPU. This takes information from input devices and performs tasks, then displays the outcome of those tasks using output devices. You've probably used input devices like the mouse and keyboard before. Other input devices include microphones, webcams, scanners, and touchscreens. There are some specialized input devices too, like fingerprint readers for security, sensors that measure the temperature in your refrigerator, movement in your video game controller, or system status in your car. Any device that provides information to your computer can be considered an input device. Similarly, you're probably familiar with output devices like the monitor, speakers, touchscreen, and printer. Laptop screens and digital projectors are different variations of a monitor. There are specialized output devices too, but most of them are based on the output features of a monitor. Any device that displays information from the computer can be considered an output device. The CPU, input devices, and output devices work together to form the computing process, which consists of input, processing, and output. Input devices take real-world information and convert it to digital information that is sent to the CPU. The CPU then processes that information and sends it to the output devices, which present the information in a way that the user understands. All of the information that is stored, accessed, or manipulated on a computer is digital. Digital information is saved as electrical signals, which are represented as zeros and ones. This combination of zeros and ones is called binary. Whenever you hear the term binary, you can think of it as digital encoding. Binary is the language of computers, and it is how all of the information on a computer is saved and processed by the components of the computer. As soon as information goes into the computer using an input device, it is converted into a digital binary format. It stays in that digital format until it gets presented back to the user with an output device.